Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my husband and I are going to San Francisco this weekend to visit a couple friends, so we thought we'd take you with us to all of our shenanigans. I think we're gone for a total of four days-ish, uh, so I'm not quite sure how long this travel vlog is going to be, but we're about to leave for the airport, so we'll see you there. So we're at the airport now and my husband's like looking for something to eat. I'm hungry. That was it you guys travel day um we're staying with chris and ally for a couple nights and then we'll be in san francisco but um i think we're going kayaking tomorrow morning so that's gonna be very exciting but for now good night pretty uneventful day see you tomorrow where are we going kayaking in moss landing are you coming no no dogs you're not allowed. coming no dogs allowed and say hi. <laughs> what is this place called? Elkhorn Slough. Elk, 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 elk horn. Elk horn slough. ridiculous safety glasses because I forgot my sunglasses in the apartment and Allie happened to have some in her car. Realize that I probably haven't gotten a ton of great shots of wildlife just because my camera is just it's so zoomed out it's so wide that and you can't get that close to the animals because of wildlife protection um, which is a good thing so I think that's gonna be it for us here kayaking it's been such a beautiful day um, we're gonna head to lunch and so uh, we'll see you there Black and mahi mahi. That was seriously so delicious. I think I'm gonna bring the rest of the pasta back for another meal because that was so much crab. So we're on our way back to the car and I noticed so when I was kayaking, I got wet, like super soaked and I have like salt stains all over my pants. Okay, so we are walking through downtown San Mateo. Um, I don't think I've actually ever said where we are, but my friends live in San Mateo. And so we're walking around, we're trying to get Indian food. Um, I don't know where we're going, so I'm just kind of following them. back from dinner and drinks and we're just gonna wind down and end of day two go to bed so 
we met Chris and Allie in college and we've known them for a long time but the reason why they're out here in California is because Chris is a smart ass and he actually goes to grad school in Stanford so he's taking us around his campus today it is absolutely beautiful Hey guys, so we just checked into our Airbnb. My husband is in the shower like right there. So sorry for the water noises, but um, this Airbnb is so cute. So we're in Daly City. Um, Allie and Chris have to go to work tomorrow. So it's Sunday night. They have to go to work tomorrow. So we figured we'd stay close to the city since we're here till like Tuesday morning before we go home. Um, and so we're in Daly City, which is just outside of San Francisco because it is a little bit cheaper. And this place, we just thought, you know, we just really just only needed somewhere to sleep. Um, no, so nothing super big and this little Airbnb is so cute so I'm gonna bring you around real quick and it's basically like two separate little rooms it is such a cute little house okay so my camera was sitting right in that little cubby and I'm just gonna back up and this is one of like the little rooms it's got a little bed got a little nook here and right behind you can hear the shower here's a little kitchen they even left little toothbrushes uh you can see i already used one i forgot to pack mine so i've been using my husband's the whole time this little kitchen and then we have the toilet here oh hi there's me and just like a little living space so then you gotta go outside to get to the kind of the queen size bed area but you kind of go just right here into this little room and this is where we'll be actually sleeping. So I think this bed is more of a queen size. Um, so it's going to be a little more comfortable. So t tomorrow is like our one day in actual like San Francisco, the city. Um, we have just sort of been outside kind of in the Bay Area because Chris and Allie have a car. So that's why we've been going to some of these other places. Um, so they just dropped us off. We plan on kind of going around San Francisco using public transportation tomorrow. And that's when we're probably going to try to see the more like famous um, attractions like the Golden State Bridge. We, I know we drove over it today, but wanted to see it from the side. And we wanted to go to Fisherman's Wharf. We wanted to go to Chinatown. Um, honestly, like Chinese food in Minnesota, like there's some good places, but most of it just kind of sucks. And Every time I go to like a bigger city like this, I just get really excited to go to their Chinatowns to eat like more authentic Chinese food. So yeah, I'll be taking you guys around for that. Um, but for now, I think we're just, my husband's probably out of the shower by now. I'm going to hop in and then go to bed. a cruise port. Um, Pier 39 apparently has sea lines so we're gonna go see those and then hopefully there are vendors open at Fisherman's Wharf for us to eat at. So that's the plan this morning. So we walked 
walked around Fisherman's Wharf, and honestly, it was not that great. I don't know. The restaurants didn't have that great of reviews on Google and Yelp, so we ended up actually back at uh, Pier 39, and we are here because I wanted the Chiopino, and then my husband wanted some sort of crab roll. Um, I'm also going to get the lipstick lemon drop, which looks really good. So we just finished lunch at Fog Harbor and it was absolutely delicious. Um, and then we've been standing in front of this bus for like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. It's empty, it's just hanging out. It was supposed to leave like three minutes ago. Um, nobody knows who the bus driver is. So we're not quite sure where, how we're gonna get to see the Golden Gate Bridge if this bus never decides to go. So we're pretty close to the bridge and it is foggy AF. Um, we've been standing here probably for 10 minutes and it hasn't really gotten better. So I guess this is, this is going to be our view. Chinatown uh, just had some bubble tea so I was really excited to get to Chinatown like all day today and like I'm kind of mad at myself because I didn't manage like my capacity of my stomach very well throughout the day and like I'm not actually that hungry but I just want to eat everything here so that's what I'm currently struggling with it's a first world problem <music> We are back in our Airbnb. We called it a night a little bit early. I think it's only about six or seven o'clock. Uh, just wanted to make some comments about all of the food we had at Chinatown. First off, let's just say as like a Taiwanese person that was born in Taiwan that eats Taiwanese food all the time, like I personally have very high expectations for Chinatowns around the United States just because those have been around for a while and Asian people have been there for a while. But I would say like the food I had today was kind of subpar so the bubble tea place in general was good uh the bubbles the bobas that they made were a little bit mushy but in general pretty good uh and then the bakery so the eastern bakery that we went to the wife cake that we bought was supposed to have like a melon filling uh it tasted more like a white sugar filling and there was way too much of it like you couldn't taste the melon usually you can taste a little bit of molasses but it's just it tasted like white sugar and it was so heavy and filling like the ratio was just off and then we went to, oh, so my husband really likes those like custard egg tart things. And we saw them there, but they didn't look too great. So then we looked on Google again to see like which bakery would have them. We went to the Golden Gate Bakery. Only come to find out that they like had no egg tarts today because it is the mid-autumn festival and there's mooncakes everywhere. So like all they were selling that day was mooncakes. So we kind of didn't get to have that either. And then, so then at that point I was like, I'm just gonna look up the, like a Taiwanese restaurant and go and we did and that was kind of a disappointment as well um, my husband's beef noodle soup the flavor was good the noodles were not traditional um, and then my oyster vermicelli was like I would say like a 5 out of 10 it really wasn't authentic at all and there was just so much of it it was like a little bit too thick as well and the flavors just weren't really there so i would say like overall just a little bit disappointed in chinatown everything we picked was like over four stars on google which when people rate restaurants how good it tastes is very subjective because if you are not familiar with traditional asian food like it might taste good to you but to me like it might taste good but it might not be traditional and for me good 
a good Chinatown place would be traditional and so like I wouldn't say any of the places that I went were all that great for if you want like traditional authentic food so if you guys are around the area like maybe give some suggestions for next time I'm around or um let me know what you think about those places but we're just overall just kind of exhausted from the day so we're home early and then tomorrow is generally just a travel day so it'll be pretty chill so I'm gonna maybe sign off now and I hope you enjoyed this travel vlog. I know it was a little bit long, but we did a lot in a couple of days. And let me know how you feel about this new format where I'm like talking a lot more. Um, I know a lot of my travel vlogs in the past have just been music kind of over everything. So let me know if you like this one better or I can go back to not talking at all. That's cool too. But I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.